Well, welcome back to another segment and video of Deb Chanel's 48th World. We're glad to be back and we got another popping hot story that I wanted to break through to my followers and see how y'all felt about it. Now, you wouldn't have told me in a million years if Nene had somebody die close to her. And unfortunately, it was her husband, Greg, died of colon cancer. I think on September 1st. So all prayers go out to the existing family here on this plane of existence and to help them uh, with their grieving process. Because once you put the body in the grave and all the phone calls have stopped, all the people have stopped coming by, you know, they are still there left with that emptiness. So always keep them in prayer and my salute and hats off to Greg. He seemed to have been an outstanding person a good man of uh integrity and ethical standards when he got on tv now what he did before on tv you know some people were saying some you know negative stuff but we're not gonna bash the dead no we're not okay because greg was just he was just a consummate gentleman you know what i'm saying so i have never love for greg but moving on honey nene through him, meaning her ex-husband, well, her uh, deceased husband, uh, Greg Leakes, a memorial or uh, life celebration at her club, the Lenithia, okay? And she, I'm sure it was a star-studded, uh, star-studded event, and it was by invitation only. So, if you didn't have an invitation to get in, you should never even approach the parking lot, okay? Because you wasn't getting in. Heads were counted, food were counted, place settings were counted. So if you weren't on the guest list, hey, don't you 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 better not. You were better off not showing up. Is what I hear. But anyway, I wouldn't have thought that Cynthia Bailey would have missed out on the homecoming or the celebration of life party that Nene leaks through for her deceased husband. Okay, of all the people, I would have thought Cynthia would have been there, first one in tow. Putting everything aside to definitely support her so-called friend contract friend that she definitely tossed up in the air several times, burnt it, gave in, went back, found Mike, towed the contract up again, and have lived have, uh, happily ever after without Miss Nene Leakes, okay? But... <laughs> <laughs> I never in a million years would have put Kenya Moore in the same room with Nene Leakes. You remember the spitting gate, spit gate? She was hogging up her phlegm, her mucus, to just it, put it out in the air for uh, it to land on Miss Kenya Moore. <laughs> I'm sure y'all remember that. That was epic. Let me tell you, I did several videos on it. Look through my catalog and go back and see it, okay? But anyway, I'm telling you. And then Wendy Williams, I didn't hear she was there at all. I hear she is having some uh, mental issues, some health issues going on. And she's, you know, staying close to home and all that. But I would have thought, you know, Wendy Williams would have been there. They were ace buku chummies at one time. But Cynthia, hey, Cynthia and that I, I barely wear and the modeling agency, she didn't show up for great celebration of life. I am astounded. If anybody can correct me, because we all know all things work good together to them that love the Lord. Romans 8, chapter 28, verse. Okay, get into it. Get into it. So I said, the Kenya must have been on her spiritual side. She's going to put bygones, be, that bygones be bygones. And I'm going to show up at this celebration since I was invited. Okay? So that showed a good part on Nene's behalf too to invite Kenya Moore. But I'm hearing she invited all the cast mates, past, present, and future. Okay? But it just is what it is. But if we go on into this article that Miranda Swink or Swink had wrote up, uh I guess she's a writer over the, over there at US magazine. She titled her article Real Housewives of Atlanta Kenya Moore opens up about attending Greg Leakes' funeral despite past Nene feud. Now again she said funeral, but from what I understand it was a uh, celebration of life gathering. Uh you know, it was no casket or anything like that. It was just pictures and people, you know, being entertained, uh, from celebrity guests and uh you know, friends of Greg's, of course. But that's just my input. Getting back to the article, it said, A show of support despite K. 
Kenya Moore's past drama with former Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Nene Leakes. She still felt it was important to attend Greg's memorial service. And I'm like, kudos, kudos, because Nene was at her worst. Okay, she damn sure went at her best. So she was at her worst, and she needed everybody around her. And who would have thought, like I said, Kenya Moore, her arch nemesis, show up and show out. Ooh, I found a new found relief for Miss Kenya Moore. But I always thought Kenya and Nene made good reality TV uh, production together. They they came both with certain qualities uh, that it's kind of ratchet. You know what I'm saying? So, and very argumental uh, personalities and self-centered and, you know, wanted to be it all about them. So... They should get a show together. Just putting it out there. I would definitely watch. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, Nene Leakes reunites with former Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars at Late Husband Memorial. I was there to support more. Stated, who's 50, told Internet Entertainment Tonight on Wednesday, September 8th. Greg never ever treated me any differently whether i was feuding with nene or not and for that i respected him so much and he was just a kind gentle caring supportive man and she was really lucky to have known him i'm like go ahead can you go ahead can you okay then it goes on to say the dancing with the stars contestant added honestly he is one of the nicest men i've ever met in my life to be there was a no-brainer and yes miss kenya moore is going to be starring in dancing with the stars she's one of the contestants hopefully we can brood her on uh hopefully i'll remember to watch if not it just is what it is but hopefully i can give good commentary and watch it um the show while she will definitely be on the show i don't think she's gonna make it uh to the final you know person who wins but hey if she can change and put her differences aside to attend greg's memorial life going uh celebration of life party she surely could possibly win okay i will put that behind or before miss kenya moore all right all right, we're going back to the article. It said, Moore noted that she flew into Atlanta for the memorial service last week. Now, where were you, Kenya, girl? You reside in Atlanta. Where, you, where were you? You were taking care of business, okay? You were loading that purse up with all the bank you could possibly find and get. But all right, you strolled on back to Atlanta, caught you a flight from wherever you was, and showed up and showed out. I'm so proud of you. Yes, I am. But going back to the article, that was just my commentary I put in there. It says, Andy Cohen, Bravo Star, sends support to Nene Leakes after Greg's death. Now, sidebar, I knew he wasn't coming. Because, shoot, he's the main reason why she ain't there. He had built her head so far up, her behind, that she really felt she could conquer the world and take over. Okay? She she thought she could. And then after they fell out for whatever reason, he dumped her. Okay? He made like she didn't exist anymore. Then, then he was trying to somewhat allegedly sue Bravo, as well as with Andy going and all of this is allegedly, but you can see where we're going with this. It was better for him to send his parting um, condolences far away than to attend and make a spectacle of himself and probably the event. Because it probably would have been a big showdown. That's just in my eyes and my theory of thinking. Okay, but moving on. It says, uh, I flew in for the memorial, the repast, she told the outlet. I think it was everything. Nene probably wanted it to be because people were happy. And I think he wouldn't want people to be happy because his life was so full. Okay, I think he would have have wanted people to be happy because his life was so full and so beautiful. And he was such a great person. So even though it was hard for me to be there, it seemed like she got what she wanted. For people to smile and I think he would have been happy about that. The Glee Alone 53 previously hosted a celebration of life for her husband, Nene. Lord, excuse me. No, the Glee alum, alum, ah, alumni alumni uh former star of uh, short very short uh session she did on the glee show meaning nene uh she previously hosted a celebration of life for her late husband greg one week after his death at her lanethia lounge on monday september 6th several of her former real housewives of atlanta co-stars included more of course kenya because we just got time model got finished time model y'all okay 
Lisa Wu. Okay, you remember she was married to uh, Keith Sweat, and she was married to some football player, and she was one of the original cast members on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Lisa Wu. Check her out. Look her up. Google her. You'll find her. Then we have Phaedra Parks there. Okay, we have Marlo Hampton, of course. You know, like I said, where was Cynthia Bailey? If Marlo Hampton was there, where was Cynthia Bailey? She couldn't put her differences aside. I mean, only excuse that I know that she should have been pardoned from not appearing at this event is, one, she didn't get an invitation to come. Two, uh, she was in a car accident or some type of accident. Three, she was out the country. Uh, four, uh, I don't know, y'all give me four, but those are plausible reasons why, you know, she shouldn't have attended the event. But who knows? Maybe she wasn't a bigger person at the time, and she wasn't trying to be the bigger person. All right, but moving on, uh, the other list of cast members was Portia Williams and Eva Marcel attended. Now, you know, Eva and uh, Eva got into it too, so I'm like, whoa, and Cynthia Bailey couldn't show her tail. Ah. Uh, 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 I'm not liking it, Cynthia. I'm not liking it. Okay. But I don't know. Did Candy Birds go, y'all? Y'all hit me in them comments. I want to say she, she showed up. Okay. She might not stay long, but I, I want to say she showed up. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Today we celebrate you, Greg, with love, just the way you wanted it. Nene captioned an Instagram post earlier that day, alongside a throwback photo of the couple. U.S. Weekly previously confirmed that Greg died on September 1st after his battle with stage 3 colon cancer. He was 66. Today, the Leakes family is in deep pain with a broken heart. Nene's publicist said in a statement at this time, after a long battle with cancer, Greg Leakes has passed away peacefully in his home surrounded by all of his children, very close loved ones, and wife, Nene Leakes. We ask that you pray for peace and strength over their family and allow them to mourn in private during this very, very difficult time. I was at the Greg's death, several Nene's Former Bravo colleagues paid tribute. Celebrity deaths, okay. Um, then it goes on to say, I am heartbroken of the passing of Greg Leakes, a wonderful man, housewife, producer Andy Cohen. Tweeted at this time, I jokingly called him Pastor Leakes, but in truth, he was a strong voice of reason and commanded great respect among the entire Real Housewives of Atlanta team. I am sending love and strength to Nene Leakes and the entire Leakes family. Uh, Portia Williams. 40, Sheree Whitfield, and Cynthia Bailey also shared their support. Now, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, you're going to share the support, but you didn't come? You didn't come, Cynthia? Let me read on. Heartbroken. So many good times and so many amazing memories. Bailey, 54, tweeted. Greg was always so loving, funny, and kind. So blessed to have had him in my life. Sending my heartfelt condolences to Nene Leakes and her family. Thinking of you in my heart and prayers are with you. And it gets the prayer, prayer hands and the heart. Okay, so I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute now. So I'm like, Nene, did you do the sly thing? Did you just disinvite her? Invite her and then disinvite her? Did you do something like that, Nene? I mean, this was not the time to be picked. It really wasn't time. Cause I don't think if you invited Cynthia, she would have showed out. Cynthia just don't have that mentality or train of thought to do such a thing. She more or uh, or more or less is likely to be up your behind versus, you know, throwing stones and bricks and stuff at you at your time of mourning. So, I don't know. I'm looking at you kind of uh, side eye, Nene. Because before Greg even passed out this world, you had something going on with your underneath your lounge and you throwing people out. Uh, because they had overstayed their welcome, even though they were dropping dollars and, 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 and coins up in your establishment, you, you were trying to show people out of there. You know, some, some little disgruntled, disgruntled patrons that were running amok. And then, I guess when um, Greg had was on his deathbed and you were at uh, the lounge doing what you do best, is uh, showcasing, somebody wanted you to say happy birthday to them. And then you talk about you didn't want to say happy birthday. I'm like, nay, nay. <sighs> Either be in your establishment and conduct business as usual or be at home by Greg's side and leave all that negativity alone. I was surprised when I heard that. I said, man, then somebody had it on a uh, video feed. That then he turned around and said, she going through this with her husband. He on his way of transitioning to another place of existence, a plane of existence. And I know I'm not going to say happy birthday to you. I'm like, oh, Nene, 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 Nene. Girl, will you ever learn an attack? I mean, 
you're the same people patron your business they spend hundreds of dollars up in there trying to keep your business afloat and for you to have something in the words of being an entrepreneur place of business for yourself and your family and you sitting up there treating your patrons any kind of way that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work but anyway that was just my sidebar you know it just kind of upset me i'm like yeah, yeah. the people didn't do anything to you she just wants you to say happy birthday to her you know she's in her mama she was an element she was living greg had transitioned you know the two are so different you know we should be praising and, and and loving on each other and 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 wishing for the best and and and, and definitely loving on the ones that have passed out but they're in they're not in this plane of existence anymore so if you wanted peace and tranquility i think you should stay home you definitely should have told that lady happy birthday and you wish her many more uh on the front side without getting exposed for saying something stupid and just heartless okay but i just had to get that out because that disturbed me i'm like you can't be uplifting one and then tearing down the other one at the same dog on time I, I just don't know how people do it but they do it every day Whew. but anyway god bless them all god bless us all and i will see y'all next video y'all get down in the comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about it okay bye bye